Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am bringing you a digital portrait painting. So in today's video, like I've mentioned, I will be doing a digital painting on the computer. I will actually be doing a self Portrait. So it's a picture I took a while ago and I decided to do a self-portrait. This is my first time doing it So it is not the best honestly for my first time I think it turned out pretty well with the, especially with the techniques I use. I know there are different techniques for everything I the way that I did it was probably not the ideal way for technique to use I know some people who do digital paintings They usually just sketch whatever they have but the way I did it was I I had a layer of my picture and then a second layer on top of that and kind of traced out the whole image and used the colors from the original in order to create this piece. So I did use a fire alpaca. It is a free program that I tend to use for my thumbnails for pretty much anything really and I ended up just using that. There's also other digital programs that you can use. And I did use my computer because it is a touchscreen computer. There are products that you can get that are for digital paintings. I just used what I had. I just used my computer and my mouse. That's all I had pretty much. I used whatever I could. So in this picture, I did have a broken nose because I, I broke my nose a few times because I do kickboxing and everything. I did get surgery on it, but it's still full. <laughs> but I, I don't can't do anything about that. Yeah, one thing I really didn't like about this picture that I chose, like you could really see that my nose is just like something's not right with it. And I realized that the face proportions were kind of uneven and I know that the picture itself had an uneven because I was kind of like looking to the side. I think or something like that. It did kind of turned out a little bit uneven, meaning the whole picture. My portrait is like where I'm standing is a little bit off to the side of where a person should be. If you're taking a picture, you should have the focal point in the middle, but I had me on the side, so it's a bit uneven and kind of like the jawline and everything when I was sketching it out and everything. It turned out a little bit uneven, but of course I ended up fixing that. And one thing I've noticed is is drawing hair and eyebrows. I had issues with both of those in this process. With eyebrows, I thought, okay, I'll actually draw the little hairs individually, but uh, that did not work because <laughs> I wanted to use a tool in Firepaka that kind of, as you're drawing a line, it ends up creating like a very pointed line, it goes thick, and then it goes back down to like being very pointed. I thought I was gonna use that for uh, eyebrows, but it did not work out so well, and with my hair as well. I tried to figure out how to put hair onto my head kind of towards the end. That's why I worked on the hair part at the end because I'm just like, I don't know how to draw hair. I was surprised I was even able to copy my face like I did. Again, there's other ways. I just kind of took the easy route because this is my first time. I did use the blur tool and the smudge tool in order to blend the colors in my face into each other. If I just end up putting solid colors around, it'll just be very spotty, but that could be potentially another form of art, but that's how I did it. I just put different colors. I would copy the color using the mouse. I'd click the right button on the mouse, so that would just copy the color, and I'll just kind of color in that section, and then add a li another little color, and after that, I would end up blurring it and kind of smudging it together so that it blends in well, and I think that turned out really well. I did want to do a more realistic piece but when I first started sketching it out I did use a black color in order to outline everything and then of course I went down to using more natural like browns and beige colors in order to create the effects like the draw face so that like you can see where the outlines like where the nose is where the shadows is I pretty much just color blocked everything in and then smudged it together uh, even the brown outlines 
that I did after that. The background I chose was just a gradient from black to blue, so it went from like the black outside to like a kind of like a this type of blue, maybe just a little bit brighter because I really didn't know what I wanted for a background. I was thinking of making a very detailed background, but I'm like, no, I spent too much time on <laughs> just my face trying to perfect it, so I thought, no, we'll just go for a simpler background. And if you noticed anything different about my channel, I did make it my profile picture because originally I had the cat with like the half black, half red type of thing, and that was originally to my hair color that I had like a few years ago. It's been a very long time, and I did not know what to change it to, so I'm like, hey, this would be actually a good opportunity to change it, so my social media, everything, I just just changed my profile picture to that drawing because I just didn't want to put like a regular selfie or anything because I don't know I just mm -mm. I don't know why I keep doing weird things I just it's not the best I know I could have used other techniques in file with fire alpaca in order to make it better or even purchase like a drawing tablet but again I used what I had and I feel like it turned out for my first piece it turned out okay it's just the hair I had issues with because my hair has so many colors especially in that piece there was that light that was coming out from like my window when I took the picture and so there's like a strand of my hair that looks white and like then there's like a shading like a light on like my chest area and so I'm just like that's gonna be hard on top of that if I end up putting in that gradient I would have to have that gradient work with the whole piece so I'm just like ah, I got rid of that I ended up making my hair like really really blonde and just adding like a few darker strands of hair in there and I didn't finish off the ends as much as I wanted yeah my hair is crazy but it's actually even it's just poofy and it makes my hair look really choppy I tried all I said is I tried even my shirt had a bunch of lacing in it and within that lacing you can kind of see like my skin it was a bit on the arm and then like the collarbone chest area and so I ended up still adding that that was very time consuming on top of that adding the color of my skin behind it with the shadows that had it within it so it was a process I do think it's a little bit too blurry like I tried a little bit too hard trying to blend the colors in but you know, I'm learning. This is my first time doing a realistic portrait on a computer, so I'm very proud of myself for doing that in the first place. Just trying to get out there and try new things. But I do hope you guys all like it. I do apologize for my lack of uploading videos and everything. I do also have another YouTube channel, which I will link down below. I pretty much paint different, like I'd paint belts, I'd recraft belts and recraft other items as well and create other items I have so many things planned for that channel and this channel like I'm not gonna just throw this channel under the bus or anything I still love making art videos for you guys and just creating new things I know some videos may be boring to you guys and I do apologize for that but I will be trying my best to not do that and add some form of comedy into my videos like I'm doing so there's that but I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.